Hawkins here with uh, Chicken Hawk Farm Set, and today we're gonna harvest some wood for uh, this winter, and we're harvesting some deadfall. Let me show you uh, how it's doing, and so far everything's working pretty good with it. All right, I could bring the tractor down here, but the the girls wanted to come with me, so uh, I'm just dragging some logs out. And this thing fell on the fence this past year, and it's got to be uh, moved anyways. The fence runs right through there. This thing is way too much for this uh, little. UT400. You see I got the chains hooked around there and kind of like a choker set up on that log there. But uh, yeah, it's not pulling all this. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of log for this little thing. But what we brought with us today was our little DeWalt 12 inch uh, battery operated chainsaw. So I'm going to go cut that about in half and it should be able to pull that half and then we'll come get the other part. But just a little quick and then we'll get it all up by the building and that's where we'll do our actually cutting and splitting so get this pulled out real quick and uh, be right back I uh, don't want to fall off uh, I, if you make me fall off I'm going to be so mad yes it is and I'm going to tell mommy what happened This is what happens when you're bad at Chicken Hawk Farmstead. <laughs> hey, hey, All right, well, got some of that splitted there. Now we're gonna work on cutting up his uh, two of the big logs we got here. Today I'm gonna test out, I have a plug-in electric chainsaw. Uh, I'll put a little description from Amazon where I got it. Got it a couple years ago. Haven't used it very much. Uh, this is my first wood burner stove, so, uh, now I'm kind of trying out all my electric stuff because I hate cranking and I don't use them enough, my chainsaws, to keep up with them and to keep the oil changed and keep them running good. So every time I go to use one, it's a hassle. So electric, it's just a really better option for me. And now I'm dragging these logs up here right next to the building where I got plenty of power. Uh, I got the DeWalt the uh, 12 volt, which you saw earlier. You know, I cut two of these big logs up with that just to see what it would do it's not made for that but it's great for taking out with me cut the log and fall falling trees in half because i use a lot of deadfall to be able to drag them out with the side by side or the tractor or the truck whatever i decide to take that day and now that i'm up here though i need more power to get through these logs the, the whole logs you know actually cutting them over and over to the side so i can split them so i think this thing's a 15 amp i'm not really sure I said you'll see it in the description here in a second or I already have and uh yeah i'll have a link below to it which i think it's though is no longer available but you'll get an idea you know it i got it on sale it's probably 50 bucks when i bought the thing so definitely worth it but we'll see how it, uh, it does with it, knocking out these logs be right back all right so here we go uh this is the tech foe uh we got i think it's a 16 inch blade I already got the oil in there, oil from the top fill, pretty nice. Put it over there. 
Got the organ, organ chain. Uh, chain tensioner right here on it, which is nice too. The plug-in is 15 amps. So it's right there on the motor. Nice, pretty lightweight little thing. Like I said, we just run an extension cord out. And uh, we're going to chop through these things and see how it does. Uh, like with any chainsaw, make sure you got your gloves. Eye Pro, Ear Pro. Probably have should have chaps on it or some thicker leather gloves, but this is what we got. So, like I said, we'll do this shot. We got a chain break. Got a little uh, thing here to push in, and there she goes. So, give this thing a try. quicker than the DeWalt 12 volt but you know it's got a lot more amperage behind it and you could almost say unlimited power so all right let's check this bad boy out i prefer to get it up off the ground so we don't get our chain in the ground dull it out if anybody knows a good way to keep these logs off the ground keep a chain from going in there I was thinking about throwing some of the other logs underneath, maybe. If that's a good idea, let me know. Like I said, I'm not super experienced this. This is just how I'm doing it. And, uh, yeah, got to go with it. This, uh, this log came out of a fence line. I think I said that earlier. So we got some bob wire in there. We got a wash for it thrown into this knot. Let me see if I can actually cut that out after I cut this last little chunk off here. All right, well, where I hit that uh, bob wire in the log there, it really uh, loosened the chain up and kind of got it off track a bit. But luckily, this thing does have a uh, toolless tightening and everything, so you just take that knob, unscrew it, it pulls the whole thing off. And it was pretty easy. It took a couple times to get it just right and get myself in the right spot. But no tools required. Just unscrew the big knob and get it tightened back up and crank it back down. Can't get much easier than that, so this is just me kind of fiddling with that for a few minutes until I get it right. This is the first time I've, you know, done anything like that with the chainsaw, so small learning curve, but very small.
You can see that was in there pretty good. Uh, yeah, but uh, just cut that whole chunk out. And then I've seen on some of the, the wood cutting, like where they cut slabs, and uh, they know there's a, there's metal in the tree possibly. It has some of this coloration. So, kind of cool if you think about it. But yeah, this will definitely get uh, chopped off here, and this will be a little piece to go in the fire pit. So, I'm going to finish these last couple, split it up, and I think we'll have enough wood for the next couple weeks. I think we're gonna go ahead and end it here as you see grab some deadfall dragging it up uh running everything doing all this off of electric or manually i guess you could call it with the split mall right now not really that bad uh one reason i'm wanting to go over to electric which isn't the best for the the plug-in chainsaw but as far as the the battery one is i can produce energy i have solar panels so i can make my own power you know i can store it in batteries I can even run that, that high draw one, you know, for a little bit. Uh, going to need to get a battery bank to do it very long term. But I can do it. But definitely, I charge right now, I charge all my fire tools off my little uh, two-panel solar system. And I got more than enough juice in them for all, all the times I needed them. But I can't make gas. So if there's another gas shortage or anything like that, it's going to be an issue. Granted, you're going to have to buy the barn chain oil. Can't make that either. I've seen people use... a old uh oil out of a car you know like off the dipstick even just to get a job done real quick that's not good for long term because that stuff just flies everywhere and empties out way too quick because it's way too thin compared to bar and chain oil so but you know keep keep a couple gallons of that on hand and you, you're good to go for quite a while you know get you through probably a couple seasons there i, I keep two or three bottles on hand on stock at all times when i'm buying some that's just less trips to store and it's always around because you know i got this little chainsaw, I do have a gas bar chainsaw. Uh, actually got a little handheld chainsaw. I'm getting ready to do uh, like one-handed, the little one. Picked mine up for 25 bucks, so I had to give it a shot. It's an off-brand, but we'll see how it does. Uh, I think it'll be pretty good for lemon and pruning. But yeah, so I'm up to like three or four different size chainsaws now. And I'm pretty sure they're all gonna need a bar and chain oil, but they are all, all but one is electric. So, all right, that's it for now though. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, stay around. Hopefully I'll have some more uh, cool videos you might like. Have a good one.